Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video, I'd like to take a closer look at the ultimate way to transition into a raw food diet, especially if you're coming from a standard American diet. And I've coached a lot of people that have gone exactly from the SAD diet to my most aggressive program, which is the first of a three-step process that I perfected. And you go down in the description box down below and find a link to a seminar I gave on how to do this. And I say this is the best transition because if you've been eating the wrong food for three, four, five, six or more decades, your body wants a solid food vacation more than anything else. And people always say, oh, isn't that going to shock your system? <clears throat> no, what's going to shock the system is if you go from 5 to 10 grams of fiber to 50 to 60 grams of fiber. So we want to keep that in mind when we understand what's the best transition. Another factor we want to keep in mind is, is how much are you suffering, my friend. If you're suffering a lot, you don't want to waste any time. You want to do this as aggressively as you can. You want to change as fast as your body will allow you. And in most cases, most people can do a solid food vacation where they drink one to two gallons or four to eight liters <clears throat> of juice every day. And when we do that, we're giving the body everything it needs, but we're not making it have to convert all that solid food to liquid. So we're going to consume more nutrients uh, than we could possibly ever consume, especially in the beginning. We can't eat 20 pounds of produce, but you can juice that much and, uh, and, and drink it without it being a burden on your system unless your kidneys are compromised. And we have to pay attention to that in the beginning. We always have to pay attention to how we urinate while we're doing this to make sure the kidneys are filtering. Uh, and most people can do this pretty easily. And the beauty about drinking all these juices is that, is that immediately starts cleaning the blood and that's going to be a load off of the kidneys and the kidneys will start cleaning itself. So <clears throat> the best transition is to give the body what it's dying for, a solid food vacation. And the beauty about doing it this way is we see results about 10 times faster. And a lot of people think, oh no, it's better to take the baby step approach. Go slowly, go slowly, just add a little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. Well, if that's your approach, then go ahead and go for it. Uh, but again, if you're suffering, if you're in pain, you don't want to take your time. And also, it's, 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 it's a long process when you go that baby step approach. Uh, many people think it takes about five years. That's the, the number I keep hearing over the decades of people, how long it took them to do that. And now things could be different now, I have to admit, because it's not quite that unusual to know about people who eat raw food. So you're not quite the social act, outcast, but you still are. And that's one of the biggest factors, biggest problems that people have adopting this diet is that you're so different than everyone else. But you don't want to be like everyone else when it comes to your health. You want to be healthy. So the best transition, give your body a, a solid food vacation. Go for the appropriate length of time, and no one knows how long that will be. Um, take it one day at a time, and at least go till you stop having things come out of you, and don't think you're, everything's out of you within the third or fourth day, which a lot of people do. I get a kick out of people on day four. They go, yeah, I think I'm finished now. I had a pretty good one today. And of course, um, four weeks later, there's still heavy stuff coming out of it. So it's amazing how much crud we accumulate in here. And it's a lot like the old saying, you don't put new wine in an old container. So we want to clean the entire 30 foot food tube out, not just the last five feet, the colon, but we also want to clean the small intestine so we can absorb the nutrients. Again, we go the distance. And I've always estimated most people over 40 probably need to go about three months. And if you're lucky, it will, because for most of us, most of the time, it's an incredible experience. Most people I coach, around the second week mark, they start saying, you know, I, I'm feeling so good right now, I don't think I ever want to eat again. And of course, we both know that that's not an option, but that's just how good you feel, and it makes you really think twice about how much life really is an illusion where we live to eat instead of eat to live. And uh, so that's the first step is we give the body a solid food vacation, it may take three months, yee-haw! Aren't you a lucky guy to get to go three months on this? It, when I did it for three months, it was the most exciting 90 days of my life. Because I crawled out of a rut I didn't even know I was in. Every level of my life went up, or every area of my life went up a level 
physically, mentally, emotionally, communally, how I felt about everything, totally transformed when I got rid of that garbage that was inside of me and I bumped up that coherent sunlight energy that we store in the nucleus of our cells. And, uh, and, and so that's what we want to do. We want to be able to see what we're missing. One of the biggest struggles people have adopting a raw food diet is they just don't know what they're missing. And it's a slow process and you're more prone to have cleansing reactions when you just start eating more fruit and you're more prone to break down tissue faster than you can build it up when you're just adding more fruit and vegetables to your diet. Whereas when you do a uh, juice feast where you're really consuming a lot of nutrients, uh, you're, uh, you're not having that problem where the body can't build itself up fast enough because you're, you can juice 20 pounds of food. You can actually put on muscle while you're doing this. So uh, that's the, the best way to, to, to start off uh, because then we get to uh, avoid the cleansing reactions, we get to avoid the tissue breakdown, losing too much of the wrong tissue, but then we get rid of stuff that, we, that, doesn't, that doesn't belong in there, and then we rehydrate ourselves also in a way that takes forever uh, if you're just slowly adding more fruit to your diet so, and vegetables. So that's step one, give your body a solid food vacation. Now what do we do after the fast? Um, again, it's going to be difficult for the average person to go from where they were before the fast, maybe 5 or 10 grams of fiber, up to maybe 50 or 60 grams of fiber. So in the beginning, I think is a great idea is to uh, juice your vegetables, drink about 2 to 3 liters of vegetable juice a day, and then only start off with one big fruit meal, usually best at the end of your day or, or whenever you are really active. It would be better to eat relatively earlier in the day, if possible, but everyone's unique as far as when they're doing things, and it's usually best to earn your calories, especially fruit that has carbohydrates in it. You want to do this immediately after you exercise, because there's a, a, an enzyme called glycanase that's produced while we exercise, and if you're an athlete especially, you want to consume uh, a whole bunch of fruit immediately after you do your exercise, and you'll be able to carbo load for the next event. And carbohydrates are the most important thing for athletes that, um, that are doing uh, events like tennis, for example. It's not a, a marathon, it's a bunch of sprints. And you need carbohydrates for, spin, for sprints. Anytime you increase your activity, you use carbohydrates for that. Uh, for long d distance uh, endurance, you can use fat for that. But for the quick, jerk, uh, uh, quick types of uh, exercise uh, movements, you need to have a lot of carbs. So it's best to eat those right after you do that. So that's uh, a good approach for the people to begin with. You can of course incorporate salads into your, your meals, uh, into your days, anytime you want to. But the, one of the main things we want to do before we complicate this too much is we really want to get in tune to our body. We really want to understand that I'm eating something at this time of day and it comes out of me the next day and that's it. And you know, I'm only having one a day because I'm only eating one a day. Uh, and you really can't do this until you first do the long solid food vacation. Again, you want to get everything out of you. So how long do you go? You go at least as long until you stop pooping, literally. Because then that way when you do start eating, you can test foods out and get accustomed to knowing what it's like to eat and poop. Eat and poop. We need to learn those cycles. There's an eating and pooping episode we need to familiarize ourselves with. And the only way we can do that is by cleaning everything out. So the best transition to a raw food diet is give yourself a solid food vacation, clean all that crud out, then <clears throat> start off slow because your body can't handle a whole lot of fiber, but make it the easiest of all things to digest, fruit. And if you're really sick, you want to keep eating fruit because fruit will still help cleanse your lymph system. And then the vegetable juices won't tax the body to digest the food and it won't be all that extra fiber. And then whenever you want to, you can of course increase your fiber, decrease your juices, or you may want to continue on a regimen where you juice a high percentage of your vegetables to lower the burden on the system. But remember, whatever you do, you want to get, you want to become aware of what's coming in and what's coming out. So after you break your fast, pay attention to what you're eating and see how it looks different when it comes out compared to something else that you eat.
And then when you eat the salad, you can see a totally different situation. So that's real important when we break the fast, and I'll do another video especially on how to break a fast, uh, because nothing's etched in stone when we do this, and this is when we want to start getting familiar with this eating and pooping episode, so that we know that it's coming in, it's going out. We want to be able to uh, understand our bowel movements better. We don't want to just ignore this topic as most people do. There is no more important topic than understanding how things are going through our system. Because when we don't eat the right foods, it's not going to go through the system the right way. And that's one of the big things that are causing so many of our problems. So uh, the, the instructions on how to do this is down below in the description box. Go down to the first step uh, and you can uh, go to a seminar that I gave that will tell you how to do a solid food vacation. That's how you start. And I guarantee you, my friends, when you do, you're in for a treat.